Hello and welcome to Rodas Black Metal Reviews. This time we have a split from Finland. This is called Dawning of the God or of the God. There is a little bit of a mistake somewhere here. Make no mistake. Rodo makes mistakes and I'm trying to learn from them. Anyhow, um, this split features six songs, three from either band and um, it's a Spread Evil Records release featuring uh, bands Goats of Doom and Sarastus. Now, the curious thing is, uh, the vocalist of Sarastus has actually been also live member of Goats of Doom, so there is a certain kind of a double link between these two bands. By double, I mean they're also Sarastus and Goats of Doom are no strangers to each other, but this time, I guess, they're even closer to one another. Anyhow, this 30 minutes of a split is a sort of a collaboration in that sort, featuring these members. As you can see, both bands have two guys mentioned in the lineup, and then there's the recording information to give you a little bit of insight what's going on. And this is how the cover looks. Very, very finished landscape with the band logos and then the album name or split name. Both bands basically play melodic black metal, Coats of Doom doing it um, in a fast paced ways versus Sarastus being a little bit more modest in so many ways. Basically very very fitting with each other so uh, not too much change between different styles and so forth. However there are some flaws with this release and um, we'll get into that. First let's take a look at Coats of Doom, uh, Metal Archive site, as you can see, quite a few full-length albums and already two other releases already in 2020. So very, very active. One split before this one and then this full-length album and now another split. And uh, Sarastus then again um, being a little bit slower, but still very active band. Uh, as you can see, this also started in 2014, a couple of full-lengths out and then EP and now this split after the original demo that is. And uh, Revenant is the vocalist of this band and also member of Sar Krista and Slagmark. So this is kind of a German twist uh, in the band, even though the band is basically Finnish one. So mostly Finnish, a little bit of German touch right there. But what is the major flaw with this album is that the mastering phase has gone a little bit off. That is, after you've heard the three initial songs by Goats of Doom, the sound levels quickly drop and you're just like, what the hell is going on? And now you're going to turn your volume knob up to kind of get the feeling of a Sarastus part. But you can't really undo the damage by like that because, I mean, we're all prone to uh, human reactions and feelings and whatever. And when you kind of... Uh, have this certain level of volume coming up with your music and you're like okay this is pretty cool solid black metal and all that stuff aggressive tempo and when the volume level drops down and the tempo also drop, drops down it feels like you move to a, another level and unfortunately in this time it's a drop so instead of uh, going back to the original feeling and you know, getting the atmosphere just by tuning up the volume, it doesn't really work like that. It feels like you have been betrayed by the album and it feels kind of a dumb. Also, if you just happen to do what I do uh, always with these review albums is that I instantly replay the album. Obviously, you have to just turn the volume down once again so that to go to Doom doesn't really, you know, blow your head up. And it feels kind of annoying. I know it's only one twist of a knob or, well, remote control where you just push the buttons. But it kind of feels annoying. And like I said, you really can't undo the atmospheric damage, so to say. So because of this minor uh, mastering flaw, it kind of feels a little bit annoying to listen to this album. Because, I mean, it happens every time. And it's only three tracks per band, so it's like 15 minutes like that and 15 minutes like that. Whereas you want to just enjoy uh, split albums as any album. You want to have the same level going on. 
I know I'm making a big fuss of this, but let's be honest about it. Split albums are in general a kind of a harder to get into because usually the sound is different between different bands, the style, the mood, everything is a little bit different. So you already need to adjust like, okay, now I'm talking to John here and now I'm talking to Jimmy Bob. And when you happen that with like different volume levels and all that stuff, it just gets annoying. Let's be honest about it. Music is not mathematics. It's not science as such. It's not based on facts whether you like some band or not. So when you have your mood going down, you really cannot undo the damage. Now, based on the music, I gotta say, um, there's nothing new for neither of the bands. Goats of Doom is basically doing what Goats of Doom have always been doing. And uh, while at their weakest, they're a very mediocre band, at their best, they're actually quite enjoyable band. For example, the previous split with Ikuturso was actually, I think, maybe the best track the band ever pulled out. So now that they are back to the not so good stuff, I feel already a little bit disappointed in that. I mean, totally listenable, but is it worth praising? Not really. When it comes to Sarastus, well, the same words, I guess, apply in so many ways. Very listenable, but also very forgettable. So this split seems to me like it's a kind of like a work in progress kind of release between the two major albums. I mean, real albums by the bands. So definitely a must-have for the fans of both bands. But for the others, I would, I would say stick to the full-length albums and go with that. This being said, obviously you want to check out the band's Bandcamp sites. It's split in different sites also because, well, monetary reasons, one could add or make a guess anyway. Uh, so you have to probably check out both Bandcamps to figure out whether or not this band or release is your cup of tea. These words being said, take a look, and I hope you enjoyed. Take care, my friends. See you soon. Bye-bye.